Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris with me, Alpha Bio Mega. Fully in assembly and the Star Trek New Horizons mod. So, we are a couple of days away from researching the physics technology called Secondary Plasma Dine Relay. So let's see it happen. Let's see it happen and see what we can do next. Come on, give me my technology. Okay, and we can unlock a building power hub. Okay, this is something that I would really like and that I'm really gonna go after. Yes, it gives extra energy districts plus two and the max energy from technicians plus 40. Let's get it. And what does this... Plasmodyne Relay Technology. The Plasmodyne Relay is a component of a Starship War Drive system capable of improving quantum efficiency. To protect the converter interface from failure due to excessive warp field stress, a secondary inverter may be required. Sonic Disruption Field and Secondary Plasmodyne Relay. Is there any ship where we could use this? I don't think we're using it here or here. Nor are we using it here. I actually think it's... Yeah, it's a completely new thing. You have the EPS Manifold, which gives flat out bonus to damage. Same to you. Tactical Station and EPS Manifold, yes. So there really isn't much um, that we could have from that. When we finish the entertainment center on Hellman, because now we have the population that is necessary there for that, which is good. We need more amenities. I actually think we're gonna build another city here as well. Things are looking well for us. The population is growing across the board. Places like Kora and Kiva are just screaming for entertainment centers. Places like Tar are screaming as well, but for something completely different. Hmm. I'm actually thinking, what is the habitability of the police officers here? 65%. This might be a good place where we could move some of our well earned. Remans once we are done with them. So we have you here. Oh, and Koala can now build something good. Okay, you're gonna build me. Actually, think of that. The habitability here is very poor. Could we build the steam chambers here? We could. We could, and that would make it much better. Xeno mongrels have declared war. Uh, let's, however, focus on the growth first. Let's get a frontier hospital. That makes sense. That makes sense to all of us. Uh, in the meantime, a number of things have happened. Uh, Cardassians are in a defensive war together with the Breen against Dalton, Union, Denabio, and Union, the Ferengi Alliance, Saurian League, Antidian, Charles, Valerian, Freeholds, and Hakonian Order. So they're pretty much fucked across the board. And there was also a war going on between uh, the Karemna and its allies, which is the Bajorans, Xapoid Guilds, Vadi Emirates, and the Nibrite Alliance against the Dominion and the Dominion is not doing all that great in attacking them but I don't oh yeah they get the Vadi here oh and the Bajorans as well okay so that makes sense why they're not making any move because they're probably pouring their fleets in through the wormhole yeah but their fleets are now pathetic same here yeah, we just really need that one fleet here. I wanted to buy a bit more alloys, but unfortunately I can't at this point. 
That sucks. We need more alloy foundries. This is this is just ridiculous. But are we getting another technology in six months? Okay. And one more thing that I noticed: some of our uh, governors for the sectors died, so we got a couple of new ones here. And the only one that's still alive is Vuvimene, who is ruling the Fulian sector quite well, I have to say. Uh, he's intellectual, so he's giving us extra 10% research. And he's gonna level up soon, which is awesome. More resources and everything will be fine. For the Fulian sector, definitely, this is where most of our things are happening. Okay, the terraforming technology has just happened. Unlike most species, Fulians require a specific kind of atmosphere to survive long term. So, if we wish to expand beyond our initial borders, then we must come up with terraforming practices that make the planets we colonize suitable for us. So this means that we can terraform the desert and savanna planet types into Y-class planets types suitable to Fulians. Okay, now we can unlock clearing or... Wow, Minister of Public Enlightenment produces unity, stability, and gives us police officer jobs. Or... Oh, this one is good. Major capital requires how many? Requires... It doesn't say so, but we're gonna go after this one. The minister would be good, but really I think we need the colonial authority. Because extra housing and amenities and level ups for our great worlds like Beitarana and Goralis are long overdue. I'm not entirely sure what level this will require, but we'll see. Anyway. Unfortunately, what I realized is that we can't really terraform a planet that we are already on. And are there any planets that we could terraform? Planet class. Okay, adaptable, tropical, what did we need? A desert, yeah, we can't do anything unless we steal some planets from the enemy. Logic, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Here we have an arid one. Okay, but I think it said we need a desert planet, right? Desert or savanna. Uh, what about you? Arid. Nope. Desert or savanna. What kind of world do you have on Ulur? Arid. Why does everyone have arid planets? That's beyond me. Marshlands. Uh, Antidian Shores, they have magic. Man, I'd really like to have the fish people on my side. Paraguac, Arid. Wow. Every single planet near us is Arid. Continental. This is ridiculous. Like even... I know we were... That's Alpine. Okay. And Bayer. Arid. Okay, I give up. <laughs> no. No planets worth our time at all anywhere near. But this is gonna be good. And the power hub as well. In 11 months we're gonna get the advanced construction methods. Which will serve us well as well. I have to say. So can I sell a bit of you for alloys? Well, I guess I could. But it's not really helping much. Damn, we really need more alloy foundries. This is just so bad. 
This is just so bad. Well, even the advanced construction methods have been just finished, which is great. And what are we gonna go with next? Wow, three not all that great technologies. Mining stations production plus 10%, that's actually not bad. Starbase hot points plus 10% is also not bad. And new fighters. Construction complete. Uh, let's go with the mining production. That actually is the best one, I guess. Okay, what did we finish here? Was it the city? No! Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, shit, shit. Fuck. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I sent a spaceship, um, a science ship to research or check the nuclear abyss and I missed when it happened. Damn it. That is bad news. Okay, let's build a new science ship and equip it with a new scientist, I guess. Furthermore, the uh, cruiser or battle cruiser has been detached from what was 9th Fleet and is now going to rejoin uh, the 3rd Fleet, which is currently waiting for that battle cruiser and a destroyer that's going to be finished any day. After which, we can go ahead and declare the war on the Nibirites, who are, by the way, at this point at war with the graphic conquest of Nibiron. Nibiron. Oh, they're going after the capital. That's interesting. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have them meddle with our plans. We'll have to see how that works. So, while I was sitting here letting the grass grow, I was thinking of ways how we could up our game, because that's something that we really need to do. If we are ever to defeat someone as big as Klingon Empire, or even the uh, places like Vought Theocracy and others. So I came up with an interesting plan that I would like to share with you right now. Uh, you guys know that we have uh, the terraforming now, and I was checking that our planets can't be terraformed, or there aren't any, ava any free available. However, I realized one thing. Lysapia is a savannah class planet, class M, which can be terraformed, and... Uh, which is the other one? Uh, where is it? It's not Beta. Oh, Beta Runner is another one. But the Beta Runner is a full in. Uh, Coelho is one, but. Yeah, this is the other one. Portas. Portas and uh, Lysapia are both Savannah and can thus be. Uh, terraform. However, we don't really have the possibility because it's inhabited. Well, guess what? Fuck them. Fuck the populations. So what I decided is we are going to colonize Woodall and Frower, arid and tropical planets that we can really terraform, and we're gonna move the populations there. I'm gonna start uh, probably by Portas because there's only 15 uh, billion people there. We're just gonna move them to one of those planets and the abandoned planet can then be terraformed. Same thing will happen with... Uh, uh, with, 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 where is it? With Lysapia, which is really big, but still there's a lot of uh, people. Now, resettling each of these will take about 200, uh, but for the slaves it's only 50, so it's actually pretty cheap. And considering whether or not we could build... Uh, there was this thing... Oh, we, we don't have it. Don't we have... Wait, no! No, 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 I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Where is Lysapia? There was a... There was a special building, but it was for the space yard, wasn't it? No. Damn. Where, was it here? No, damn, I'm confused. There used to be a building which was... 
like a special oh wow was it transporter center or something like that that made moving your populations cheaper or was is it only for worlds that are not frau colonies I'm confused right now. Or do we have it there? I have regional capital. Wow, I'm I'm having one of these moments where I feel really dumb. Oh, here it is. Civilian transporter complex. A small complex designed to facilitate civilian transport. Do we have it there? No. It's not here. Why can't I build it? That's weird. Could I build it on, say, Portas? Oh yeah, I can. Okay, so I guess it has to be on the world that's not a Fra world. Okay, well, uh, that sucks a bit, but doesn't matter. It just makes it cheaper, doesn't it? What does it make it? Uh... Transport the chief job, maintenance chief job. Oh, actually, it doesn't do anything. A small complex designed to facilitate civil transportation between worlds. Okay. Uh, I guess it it makes nothing. Okay, never mind. Uh, forget it. Forget it. I was just thinking that we could do that. So the two colonial um, ships are already being built. Wait, where is it? Here in Cockerham Station, the one is halfway finished, the second one is being worked at. It's gonna take a few uh, years before the colonies are properly set up, but then we can start just assholing people from one place to another. It's also gonna take some money to turn from the planets, I think it's like 5,000 each. But that was for the Federation, so it might be a bit of a different price. But, you know, we'll see. It's something to give me, uh, something to give me what to do while we're waiting here. And we're getting really close, like really close to being able to declare war on uh, the Niberite Alliance. Let me just make sure these populations don't decline. I was actually considering... Uh, doing the same thing, for example, for Beta Runner, but I'll be honest, actually it would make sense. We could move these people to different worlds that we already have. Uh, and just remake them. Yeah, same with Cochrane. Hmm... I'll have to think about it. I don't know if it's a good good thing to move the Foian populations. Though those aren't slaves, you know, those are our people. Oh, and we're running out of housing here. So let's build you guys. Wow, your amenities really suck. And the crime situation here is also poor. Well, I'll have to think about this. I'll have to think about it because it would make sense to go with something like Cockerham. So Thama can't be, so that's definitely for sure a situation we can deal with. But if I move population from Cockerham to Safama and some other worlds like I don't know. Probably our capital, Kora and the other ones, we could utilize it and build more alloys and more energy. Wow, that actually makes sense. I'll I think I'm gonna go ahead with that. Beta Renner. It will slow our population growth a bit. But it would make sense. Yeah, so... Do we have something that we could sell? That would give us enough do that. If I sold you, that would be 4,000. If I sold you, that puts us to 5,000, but it might not still be enough. Hmm. Hmm. 
But you know what? Let's do this. I'm gonna do it on cam in the next episode. Uh, we're gonna start with which one? Cockerham or... Cockerham... Or Beta Renner. Beta Renner has 16, Cockerham has 15, so that's not a good... High quality minerals, subterranean cities. Okay, let's uh, let's do Cockerham. Cockerham looks better, and if it works, we can go with Beta Runner too. Okay, so I'll see you in the next ep in the next episode where we do this while we declare war on uh, well the Niberites, but that means also the Majorans and Sublight Guilds. So see you there.